CoQ10, a vital supplement for heart health, but there's more to the story. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, CoQ10 supplementation is, is proven to be vital for heart health after the age of 45 in particular. The body, you know, makes CoQ10, but by age 45, you're making much less. In fact, you start, you start making less even after age 25, but by age 45, there's a significant drop-off. And CoQ10 is needed for cells to convert food into energy, and the heart really relies on CoQ10 to make energy. So as your CoQ10 levels drop and you run into sort of a marginal deficiency, it can lead to congestive heart failure where the heart pump starts to get weaker. It can also lead to high blood pressure. It can increase the risk for atrial arrhythmias. And when you have an arrhythmia, then there's a greater risk that you'll form uh, an embolism that will lodge in your brain or in your lung, and it can be very serious. So supplementation with CoQ10 has been proven to help Im improve the management of congestive heart failure, high blood pressure, and even atrial arrhythmia. We have human clinical studies to show the effect of CoQ10 there. So, but don't wait for problems to begin. You should be proactive and start taking a CoQ10 supplement by age 45 to help prevent these problems. Now here's the kicker that most people don't know. The CoQ10 works best in conjunction with the herb known as Hawthorne. You see, the leaf and the berries from the Hawthorne plant have these very unique flavonoids. And these flavonoids in the body also help to convert food into energy in sort of a different area in biochemistry than CoQ10 works. So CoQ10 and Hawthorne work together to optimize energy production in the cells of the body, particularly in heart cells. So Hawthorne supplementation has also been shown to not only improve uh, congestive heart failure and high blood pressure, but also opens up the blood vessels of the coronary arteries so you get more blood to the heart muscle, helping to reduce risk of heart attack. And it's had a lot of application over the years for different cardiovascular problems. The best practice, in my view, is to take a supplement that contains both CoQ10 and Hawthorne. The, the, the rule of thumb is th for every 30 milligrams of CoQ10, there should be about 37.5 milligrams of Hawthorne. But the Hawthorne has to be standardized to 5% flavonoid content. Those are the medicinal ingredients. So the combo is a, is a big step in the prevention of, uh, you know, the kind of decline in heart health that normally occurs after the age of 45. So when you take CoQ10 and Hawthorne together, you're helping to decrease the likelihood that your heart pump will become weaker less of a chance that you're going to develop congestive heart failure and coronary artery disease and high blood pressure and even atrial arrhythmia problems.